Hey, what's up, YouTube? All my fellow YouTube friends and Wednesday Warriors. It's Jesse, JLS Comics here, back for another video. Uh, this one here is going to be an unboxing of my comic bento box that I just got. Um, if you've seen these, uh, great. Um, if not, just so you know, it's a box of comics at your door every month. Usually they are graphic novels, um, I've been told. I haven't received them yet, but sometimes they do single issues. Um, but everything I've gotten has been a uh, either hard or soft cover um, collecting something. So um, today is uh, the 31st, so happy Halloween. Um, pumpkin, trying to be all seasonal. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Uh, the theme this month, October, is masks. Um, curator is Gail Simone. Um, it's fun to try to guess what's in these, but I'm usually really wrong. Um, but Gail Simone, so we're talking Batgirl, um, Justice League, so JLA, Justice League United. Um, I think she's even done some work on Deadpool and, you know, things like that. So, um, that being said, masks is a pretty broad, uh, topic for, um, a theme. So really, it could be anything. Um, so that, that's one of the cool things about this, it's, it's a surprise. But All right, so let's just uh, get right in the cracking this baby open here. Um, box and the packaging is always really great on these things. Um, tape, tape, tape on one, two, three sides. Um, really thick box. Here, I'll show you guys first. There we go, okay. Um, bubble wrap is always is really good. Oh, and I'm seeing something uh, that I actually have thought about getting uh, pretty recently. So, very cool. And it comes, um, this one's like shrink wrapped in there pretty good. So even if the box got damaged, which looks like it got some denting on it, um, the books are always perfect. Um, so... <clears throat> Around. Just cutting right into the plastic here. Um, there's a little card that we always get with these. Kind of explains why they picked what they did. So we'll take a look at that first. So Gail Simone, Oregon, October 2015. She's an American comics writer who has written for DC, Wonder Woman, the new uh, all new Adam, amongst a myriad of others. She's penned Wildstorm's Gen 13 reboot, um, and Welcome to Tranquility. She wrote Birds of Prey and Deadpool, as I said. Uh, Secret Six she's done, uh, Red Sonia. Um, so Red Sonia and Wonder Woman, yes, um, but they don't wear masks, so I didn't expect them to be in this. Uh, she's also done a little bit of work on Tomb Raider for Dark Horse. Um, so masks. In comics, a mask most often means someone coming to do good in the world. Any comic shop is full of them, rich dudes with secret passion for patrolling the streets. I love these guys. In That's what it says. In the real world, a mask more often means someone is doing something they don't want to take responsibility for, like a hamburger. Shut up, I had to imagine the hamburger was real. Um, Gail Simone wrote this. Uh, bag robber, terrorist. Um, more personally, sometimes the mask is metaphorical. Sometimes even people we know well are hiding something. But in all cases, they allow people to show a different side of themselves, to step up and outward. The search for identity is possibly my favorite theme as a writer and as a reader, and it's all about the false face, the roles we play, the lies we tell, the masks we wear. So here's some of my favorite recent stuff on this theme. I hope you like it. If not, the Hamburglar will choose them. That jerk. Such a diva. So that's what Gail wrote about this month. So here we go. First one we have is uh, Captain Marvel. I don't want you to see. So this one is uh, pretty cool. Actually, I've been wanting to read this and I haven't had a chance to. Captain Marvel, higher, faster, further, and more. Collected editions. Um, and this 
contains material originally published um, as Captain Marvel 1 through 6. So this collects the first six issues. Kelly Sue DeConnick um, and David Lopez on art. So, pretty cool. Looking forward to reading this one. I kind of like went off, uh, you know, haven't read much Captain Marvel lately, but during the Secret Wars, um, Captain Marvel and the Carol Corps, um, I, I remember how much I used to like Captain Marvel, so definitely check that one out. Uh, next we have, this is from Dynamite, uh, written by Mark Wade. Um, volume 1, Bully Pulpit, the Green Hornet. Pretty cool, right? Collected Features, an intro by Mark Wade, uh, issues uh, 1 through 6, some sketches. Um, then 1 through 6 covers um, of different ones by uh, Paula Rivera, Alex Ross, Jonathan Lau, who wrote, um, helped um, Kevin Smith on his Green Hornet run. So, there it is, Green Hornet, there's the cover again. Next we have, uh, from Valiant, Harbinger Omega Rising, the best comic book in the market, according to Ain't It Cool News. See that? And actually, best graphic album, previously published. Um, I got some pretty good reviews on there that they decided to publish on here. Um, you get a lot of Valiant stuff in these bento boxes, so. Um, Stuff that I wouldn't have necessarily picked up, but um, I'm glad they're including it because I really enjoy a lot of the stuff that they're putting out these days. Um, Valiant's got some good work. Um, so this collects, it looks like one through five. I'm looking for the Indicia, but I don't see it. Um, trade. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is uh, collecting issues one through five. It's a cool picture. According to the table of contents, and then there's a, a pretty, pretty um, good gallery, as we were just talking about. So it's called Omega Rising. Looks cool. Harbinger Volume One. Here we go. Okay, so there's one, two, three. Uh, so we got four today. Um, this fourth one here is by Dark Horse. It's called Orchid. I like this cover a lot. I don't know anything about this, but I like that cover. Um, Rolling Stone wrote that Tom Morello uh, brings class consciousness to comics with Orchid. Um, so I've not read anything about this, um, but. My immediate impression is that I think I will like it. Scanning through, it's like, art's not bad. It's different, it looks like it's got a good mix of, uh, good mix of stuff in here. Looks kinda cool. There's another picture there. The Orchid uh, is Tom Morello, Scott Hepburn doing art, uh, Dan Jackson, colors. Cover art is Massimo Carnavale. Um, Orchid. Okay, it doesn't say. Uh, reprints uh, Orchid number one through four. <clears throat> First edition, July 2012, from Dark Horse Comics. So there you go. I can show you that page because I showed you all the other ones. So, uh, pretty good haul. Uh, thank you to Gail Simone for a good uh, collection here. Uh, four books that I look forward to reading. Um, a good uh, Marvel, Dynamite, Valiant, and Dark Horse. So, um, last uh, month there was a, a pretty cool one from DC. So, uh, pretty good uh, mix of um, publishers. So, there it is, good job. Um, and